Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton, and today we're going to start off with a little what do you notice? So I want you to think about the shape that you're looking at here, and just stop and think about all the things that you can notice about it. So just take a moment. Stop and jot. Is anybody noticing that there's a different color underneath those triangles that you can kind of see? There's some triangles there, aren't there? I bet some of you've noticed that. And I bet some of you noticed that this is a shape with one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Okay, and then that also means there are one, two, three, four, five, six angles, right? So it has six sides and six angles. So that makes this a what? Say it if you know it. That makes this a hexagon. Okay, now if you were sneaking a peek underneath those green triangles, can you see those green triangles? I want to ask you, how many triangles did it take for me to make up the hexagon? Can you see them? Let's see if I can, if I can sneak you a peek here. Aha. Can you see how many green triangles it took? Check that out. So one, two, three, four, five, six of those green triangles took, or it took six of those green triangles to make one hexagon. Now let's see, what if I get rid of three of these triangles. Let me get rid of that one too. All right, now we're left with that red shape. And I'm going to move the green triangles back in there. Let's see. So what is this red shape? Let's take a peek here. What do you know about that? Just take a moment. What do you know? Maybe you said it has one, two, three, four sides. So maybe you thought, oh, it's a quadrilateral. It has four sides if we were keeping this green line right here, right? Um, maybe you thought, hey, it looks like a, do you know what the name of the shape is? Let's see if you know it. It's called a, I'm going to move it out. Whoop. There it is. It's called a trapezoid. So let's see. Trapezoid. There we go. So that's the trapezoid. And how many trapezoids did it take to make up the hexagon? So let's see. Now I'm going to get rid of all these green triangles. How many trapezoids did it take to make up the one hexagon? It took two. So that trapezoid is exactly half of the hexagon, right? So guys, it seems to me that fractions and geometry are really strongly related to each other. Have you ever thought about that? Fractions are really everywhere, and I they're one of my favorite things to do in math, as you probably know. I, I also love my number talks. I'm missing those with you guys. All right, so let's take a look about um, at about how uh, fractions and geometry are kind of related to each other. So if you're following along with me in your textbook, um, we're on page 542. You can do this question with me. It's the exact same. Um, so here it is. Alexa said that the area of one-third of the trapezoid is greater than the area of one-sixth of the hexagon because one-third is greater than one-sixth. Does her statement make sense? Explain. All right. So let's all stop to think about that. I need to read it again to myself. The first time I'm reading, I'm reading the words kind of, and then the second time I really try to make the picture in my head. So it's really important that we all make the picture in our head when we're reading a story problem to ourselves. So let's take a moment. Okay. You feel like you have it down now? All right. So let's take a look. Let's unpack this a little bit more. So I'm going to get my highlighter, because who doesn't love a highlighter? I hope you're not one of those people that highlights the whole page, though, because then there's no reason for the highlighter. Alexa said that the area, I know the area is going to measure the inside, area of one-third of the trapezoid. Okay, so 
the trapezoid was that figure that was red, or we could think about it as three of the green triangles, right? Okay. So the area, let me see if I have a trapezoid. Do I have a trapezoid? Do I? Do I? Can you see it? I don't see it. How about here? Nope. Still don't see it. Bummer. I thought for sure I'd get a trapezoid. Oh, well. So the area of the trapezoid, let's see. I'm just going to trace it. There, I should have done that in the first place. See, whenever you don't solve the problem the first time, you just try a different way. Alexa said that the area of one third of the trapezoid, okay, so that would be this one third of the trapezoid is greater. I don't know how to set living room to that setting. Oh my goodness. I said the word Alexis from the story and Alexa started talking to me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. So Alexis said that the area of one third of the trapezoid is greater than the area of one sixth of the hexagon. Okay. So here's one third of the trapezoid. And let's see, one sixth of the hexagon would be, oh, well, the hexagon would actually be this whole thing, right? So this entire figure would be the hexagon. And so we could think back to when we had those green triangles in there. Here they come again. And so the area of one sixth of the hexagon would be one of the triangles. So hmm, in that case, does her statement make sense? I'm gonna leave that for you to figure out. Please make sure you explain why it does or does not make sense and check in with your teacher and see how you should turn this in. See you next time, bye.